Okay, first off, I'd like to say that the MLP Classic Vlog this week will be postponed until tomorrow because I have a that vlog to do today and I don't want to do two, you know, in a row. And just, yeah, I don't know. And that's giving it a slight more importance, you know. So, so yeah, we'll be got vlog from your pie tomorrow, probably. Hopefully. But after that, I'll go back to you. We'll schedule for Classic Vlog. But anyway, time for another for the Pressure got a new show thing. Didn't think I'd do that one so fast. But now, again, for now on, I'm going to do show I'll do pressing on it. And maybe if I like it, I'll do the alchemy for it. And come, but I don't have to work with the show or anything. I really couldn't. But, um, we'll get for this one. Um, <laughs> I don't know the next new show after the count. But I announced that. I got like, I thought this was the next show. Didn't know anything, and I have a lot counted. So, anyway, this one should be quick, probably. First impression for future war and related hearing from Disney. Well, I talked before about Disney and kind of weird predictions. Because before, they argued the best. You know, because we had more. Like, you know, they had the Gravity Falls for one, or, you know, your Pen Hero and uh, whatever. But now, a lot of them, now we dropped up, up to Jet Star and Pen. And Pen can be bowing out, and Star will be like, you know, standing. But. I do think they can hope because, you know, we got two new show appearing, uh, that did one of which is Buck and Premier and Mary Wilder Williams, so that should be good. And then my movie Raw, coming this fall, probably October, I look like, you know, but, um, but before we get to that, we're gonna another new show we have with Future Worm, and another ring of people fight with the new become, well, it comes up to a gold peanut. He, as people can before, Disney is probably at the work when they're trying to be hip with it, you know, or trying to copy other people. They tried to be on Tippy, they got Duke with me, they tried to be big like, 90s incarnate, they got Quack Pack, and they don't ever show, you know, they're not quite extreme, but are in that similar vein of them, okay, they're trying a little hard to get into a certain type. And, you know, Disney can't find a balance between experimenting and fulfilling to to go. Star did that, Dave Librarian did that. Fans aren't really done that. Uh, Gravity Falls, he wanted to be under, like, go to the show, or all Cartoon Network ads, wanted to make perfect ads, but it's still Disney, and still, you know, good. Be honest, though, you know, trying to be hard to be, well, regular show for four mode. Go to UK, but when I gave a regular show with the way we kept talking, because, um, you know, it was just, yeah, I did a few reactions before, and I don't like it. It was just trying way, way, too hard to be, you know, like, we're going to be show, or our adult film act. <laughs> we'll get to that, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, we're going to play for that kind of show, but not in Disney. I think, not, I didn't, ugh. It didn't, it feels like, while I'm playing in, it doesn't feel genuine. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, again, if I don't watch Joy, that kind of show, I watch adult film, not fucking Disney, where they should do, they pick me off, and show me when again. But, anyway, we really can't bring this up because I was a little worried that Future Form would fall into that game category because they started off with a of short, which I thought, out of the show, like, they're doing Future Form, and the short came out, oh, that's Future Form, okay, there's a short form of Kiri, like, two more eggs, I think, are okay, honestly. For a short little thing, for a new game, I don't keep feeling bad about them, and I've never had the experience that I talked about with them showing it, well, to, showing it too much, I've only seen one per culture break, and not even, a culture break I got, they say you tone down a like, culture break, a like, few culture break for sure, because this show had three segments. Came with Fun Drop, you know, five, with one love minute, one seven minute, and one, uh, five, four minute, one. Um, um, you know, um, you know, and when I saw the short, they did kind of fall into that Scorpion X category. From the commercial, it did seem like, well, they're trying to already be wacky and not, you know, Strange, and you know, after watching the first step and go, but I go off of mine because I've heard Nick Cuffalo. We, you know, Grant Young worked on Fish Hook and Johnny Tess, so I don't know why that gave me hope. But well, I like Fish Hook, fine, but it's not, you know, <laughs> the greatest. Um, that's another kind of tempting, you know, but I feel like they got the bounce a little better, and they're trying harder than I'm going to be on it, you know. Um, this show created by Gany Ryan Quinn, who I never heard of, oh, I can't, don't. I should look them up before I came here. I want to know if he done anything I should know. But 
anyway, but yeah, with but again, I kind of give it, you know, a shame because again, Jerry can be heaving and but yeah, I put my pickle peanut. You you never do know if like if come show I will, you know, for hard beat I'm gonna hard pretend like Nick, but I hard pretend sure about it from the commercial because they kind of underfold it. But um, you know, but okay, dude, am I to be um, right? Okay, and I got it. Wait. Okay. It's, uh, come on, come on, there we go. Okay. Pre four, pre four conclude working on golf park. Well, that's not helping at all. Okay, okay, um, okay. But back to the. But anyway, I'll get shot. And yeah, it does fall in the right similar category. But I don't. I don't know about this one. It's better than Pickle Peanut, but I, I, this show kind of just kind of build the road from the first half, first, uh, half hour. It, eh? I mean, it will get terrible and it cringe, I guess, and like shuffle a few times, but at the time, it's a dull, that kind of show of trying too hard to be wacky and, and it's not Disney act at all. I mean, a little bit in this year, but not much. I mean, we're sure it's kind of a lot more than you. Yeah. You know, again, none of you are going to be a pickle peanut. I feel like we're trying to make a show here, but still, basically, the show, well, it's about a kid named Danny who has a friend who will go warm from the future and they have a lunch lock without going to shop for time. How all this kind of being never explained because it's one of those shows that just drop me in and don't explain anything. I, I come show that can work when the day you can infer. But this show, it's so weird, I need to ask questions again, I'm not getting any answers. I don't know, if they live, you know, with parents, can they can do... I don't know if they know the time trumps up, but they know of the warm guy, and they're totally okay with him. Uh, this can buy plenty of Craig with, uh, you know, if they form for that. You know, but, you know, it came from Tyler, kind of like Craig, and stuff like that, well, it's been the part beyond that, but that is, I don't know if they would catch them, because probably would catch them, really want to... Some of five people from the crew, I don't know, but if only one I had a guy exactly the Chico with the female friend, um, because she has to be in everything, I noticed, um, <laughs> but she got the crown, okay. Uh, speaking of which, that outfit, after that, I'm watching Star to watch Best Better Disney products, and I, that, then after that, oh, wow, that, wow, TV, you know, got a ton of stuff watch later, actually. Um, oh, we had a bear bomb with me, too, of course, I got that. I uh, will, um, okay, um, but, you know, but anyway, with time travel stuff, we're making you in a more minor way, and the three segments, three long segments, but in a more minor way, the first segment, um, they, they want some material, kind of material that Danny loves so much, and he wants to share it with Future Worm, yeah, I think just Future Worm, speaking of which, each African end ends with, King, Future Worm, and Funny Child Bear. Just in case you've got your show, what show you're watching, right? You know, like, hey, I can't ever have to wander with King, wander with Yonder, to remind you what show you're watching. Okay, I'm nitpicking there. But anyway, um, in the first game, they don't hear the but they go and hear it called out, so they go back in time, they get some, and that beef then to that, with the time traveling, and the second segment, they, um, they go to your free falcon, because he, Danny and Brain Free, <laughs> and they go Free Falcon to go on some show, some healing show, you know, to be on inclusion, because there's no other way to involve it, by the way. And by the way, it only happens when he drinks the thing. Go out, stop drinking the thing, you won't get Brain Free. I guess that's the joke, that's the only explanation for him. And the third segment, we're trying to cook home for the parents, the most normal segment, um, they're trying to cook home for the parents, and they're going back to give them both multiple tries on it. Um, yeah. And, and we're doing time trial. Not much go wrong with time trial, frankly. Not much time trial logic or anything like that. First, again, when they get back, they find aliens who invaded. Turns out they were invaded every way because they came here to get all the material because the material is their weakness. Which means, in these kind of stories, usually that they will cause the invasion by taking the material. Nope, in fact, in this case, we should have prevented it by taking, you know, you know more of it, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's not how a story type tends to work, and 
Yeah, but anyway, but for, you know, um, but anyway, as far as the character goes, they're, they're a little better than something else. The main character seems like he's nice in general. He's not an asshole. So people they're assholes, but the guy which I'm kind of asshole, but I think I have a point, and he is get the funniest. Well, not the point, we'll get to him, but get the most abusing jokes. He got some good, like, whips occasionally. I mean, he's kind of jerking, it's kind of hairy, you know. But then he's not for deeper, like, in one scene where, uh, you know, the alien, like, hit, like, the serial and the feature for me, go, go, no, the serial, I'll go you, too. Like, in a, it's a quick joke, well, it's like a wreck line. The, but, um, but they can, they think okay. It's like he's not, he's meant to be, like, bullet beat. And for for me, okay, the only character and the parents we don't they do have a funny part, um, where we're actually where we're happy. So I like them. Um and then female friend who's the obligatory tough female friend. Yeah. That guy, uh, but she mount too. Yeah, that get I don't know if, I don't know if it could be any other character and guy really occurring. Well, we've we've already got darn the first episode and that would be Neil deGrasse Titan. Yeah, again, New Ender 2, Bad v Superman, Ice Age 5, now this. Why are you pairing so much of it here? I don't get it. I mean, I don't... I could, each of these has each just been kind of whatever. Here we go further with it by giving him telepathic power. Yeah, I don't know, that's kind of funny, I guess. It's just that, that, again, and they gave the first time better day, too. You can guarantee fall. Uh, guess I've only got good as well. Nothing on top of the wall there. <laughs> uh, don't think I've seen this video help narrate. <laughs> um, did I come out here? I can't remember. I think I might have. I'll try to march it. But, he's yeah, cool and all, but he's cool appearing so many times. And I hear him for TV video occurring on the show? Uh, okay. Um, but anyway, uh, he was slightly narrating, I could find a bit. Um, <laughs> you have an impical need of that Titan cameo, but, and if I ever get dark, the guy could be recurring, but I don't know. If I ever get dark, Justin Hoyland, yes, Rick and Morty, and Ako, Lem Grab, and Ocker. And the way he talks sounds like exactly coming out of Rick and Morty. Like, if I showed you that King Otto, you would think it from Rick and Morty, took him out and he was wearing it like that. And here's the best part, because he has a naturally funny voice, and talks in a naturally funny way. Cool. The dialogue wasn't even the funniest, but the way he got it made it funny. He was in another brief character near the end. I can tell him, he's always putting on his voice. The way he speaks. It's like, I do wonder if he's not that way in real life. He's the floor, and, you know, uh, I, uh, I can't. You know, I, need, I don't know. I need to put what's going to need too, by the way. I'm going over there. Um, <laughs> but, anyway, cause he was kind of weird. I don't give me nothing cringe or I mean, the stuff I didn't like. Again, it, some parts felt too random, and I feel like a lot of times they had too many moments where they have stupid plot holes that are of a joke, like the brain thing I mentioned. Um, you know, and I just don't know what to really like, say. Hey, it's okay ish, I guess. I mean, it's almost entertaining because we're taking it, but it's also kind of a turn off because of. The animation's okay, better than Pickle Peanut, but still sort of a ugly ish style, but it works better on that show because it looks like a bit more creativity. The animation get a horrible look at it, just, that's not Disney like animation. And even when they're doing something a little wacky, they can give you know, okay animation. It's like, technically, you can barely bring me because they still have pretty good animation, Disney ish animation, despite being wackier than the scan. Um, in fact, the only Disney show would probably break from the little fucking people with fucking the meat, and the bit being too Disney act was the problem, so they couldn't look like Ren and Stimpy, and because of Disney, they couldn't nearly be funny Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> um, uh, well, so better, don't try it today, I guess. <laughs> oh, low blow. Um, yeah. You know, the show goes a little more, typically it does go more all out than, I'll give a credit, goes more all out with regard to style, I mean. Couldn't go all out with the writing, but, you know. Um, you know, um, so, you know, and this show we go a little more on, so, again, I just not sure really how to really feel, it's not bad made technically, but not great, you know, it's tolerable, like, I could get through it, it's not cringe or nothing, I think, mean, oh, and, you know, and I chuckled a few times, but now it shouldn't necessarily grab it, now it shouldn't be too much more of it. 
But I'll watch all this month, got the code to see what happens. Maybe you'll get more creative, more some creativity, and I can see someone liking this more than Pickle Peanut, because most people like it, and some people watch shit like Squid Billy, but they're gonna play for that kind of show, and that show belongs where it is, you know, don't put them back, fine. Both go with fucking Pickle Peanut, you know? Yeah, so I think someone, you know, not my thing, but again, the problem here is that they're trying too hard to be wacky and whatever, but at the same time, it can be entertaining for that reason, and have an actual genuine, the friends do feel like friends here, and then it's slightly like, well, and the kept that you go good perk, and they've one moment, but that's a joke, and that's fine. Again, which may put up the gold peanut, and make some other show, like, you know, whatever. So, you go for the first free segment. Okay, I, it, the time didn't hurt it, time span didn't hurt it, it made it eager to get through. For an hour, eh, very middle of the road, like, it took a go from one way to the other, it's like, but I can see someone getting more kick out, or even liking it last because they really don't want to be doing the kind of thing, but, go, yeah, it maybe as I'll watch more, they'll throw more effort or something like that. It's not gonna, it, Pretty middle of the road. It's not good, not not that kind of good, not kind of bad. It's just okay. Ish. Again, I could probably, I could, I could stomach it. I can keep myself watching more, but nothing else on the back about it. But again, that's sweet segment though. I've got enough to judge in general, you know. Oh, after Nick on phone, he wrote the second segment. I don't know which one I call the best. Maybe the third one. I thought that one had like the best, like the normal story, you know, the you know. And Nick Confluence was a little shorter, it was a short one, so, uh, that one was alright, but, damn, Nick, uh, yeah, you know, if I'm to complain, work, uh, I can't talk about that, it's, <laughs> complaining, I'm, I'm curious about Johnny Tense up because I'm doing a, the opposite version of the Bat Pico show that I like, with doing the opposite, which means I get to watch from Johnny Tense up because, and I'm gonna watch from the one he wrote, so, hopefully very good, um, yeah, I will try to find Pickle Peanut as well. I've heard a couple of suggestions. Um, <laughs> so, I guess I get the future one. I don't, there's like not much to say. I took me five minutes to get to, to call my feeling on the show. Like, there's like not much to say. I suppose if you don't care what networking and you like the type of humor and cream, you'll probably enjoy it fine. I wouldn't take a much watch either way. If you did like, well, I liked one Pickle Peanut, so I could probably get it to, well, if you somehow did like it, to probably like it one well. Um, they did for short. They could better short because they had it more coherent given them. But I could probably sort of give you an idea, but you can look up a short and see how you feel about them. Again, both who tend to enjoy the kind of thing, regardless of an will enjoy it more than people like me who are to have. I can enjoy a type of thing when it's done right or they go full fork of it. Like, coming up with stuff. Like, Rick and Morty, I like it just too much for the humor. I want more for the humor. Um, you know? Yeah. And again, just to want to look at that part of it. It's going to keep it naturally funny to me. <laughs> you definitely think I'm leaving the show and you can quite... I can't do it. I've got a little thing. I just... I like that! Like, ah! How can you do that? But... <laughs> but... Yeah, I think that's going to be the end of it. We all... Because we have not much of game. Effort depression that... More likely, it will be more on the road. It won't get quite to being good, but it'll be at least bearable. And it won't be a cringe and thing or terrible with people peanut can also be. So, take that for the for Fanic, my first feeling on the show. So, I've been more psychable. Um, for a show that came out here, I need to catch up. I watch a lot of movies, but a show came out here, and I watch a few. What? I need to watch. The board town which got canceled. <laughs> The bad Ica Fox show. So, um, the Bernicula, very good clip of called Bernicula, that immediately made me want to watch it, so I'll watch that at some point. Uh, well, um, very, 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 I haven't seen Falcon Longer yet, I call it a pilot, no, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I can already show it. Like, did a junior barely count, though? So, you know, for Golden Bear, I'll charge one up good, that was fine, that was special move, okay. Um, um, he, uh, but yeah, I haven't vlogged line already. I hear it gets better from the pilot. And most of the pilot were pilot problems, getting things out of the way, but it wasn't too bad. People whining about line art, you don't know. But anyway, we're right. Um, uh, let's see.
see I love him, so I really get really good. So I'm gonna probably be so good. Um but yeah, I'm pushing twenty minutes, go I can pro go do research myself. Go so yeah. Mm. Well, if I do the show go be in that middle ground, like maybe you can kind of bring me to a well that one might be a little better, I'll have to watch more of that. Well I watch that. Well I've got the Holly episode from Holly episode from one. Uh, but from my memory, that was not too bad. And this might be in the King Calgary of that, we're 10 on this. But we shall see. So, yeah, tomorrow, picking up a pie, collecting your and get a uh, for our vlog. Well, um, you know, for this week, uh, for movie guy, King Pike vlog, but nine live coming out this week. And because it looks so bad, I want to keep that too. So, I hope if it's. I'll play playing out with Schrader a few times, but anyway. But occasionally we that might not play. But um I'll keep that and probably do VR for that because that's something I need to more like my fake and I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> well it actually does depend because but I'll I'll maybe I won't be a world but depending on how I feel about the film. But go so that should be the weekend as well as the MLP the cart before the pony. And again, don't know what the next show premiering is, but so yeah, I'll see you guys then. Future worm!